Pride, bravery, sacrifice, heroism. These are some of the ideals which the image of a soldier brings to mind. Being raised in a militaristic society, we Americans have been taught from a young age that it is honorable to choose a soldier's life. Images like this one, depicting thousands of men standing in rank, may bring on a familiar swell of satisfaction. One might feel a sense of kinship or integrity radiating from the image. We see the men standing shoulder to shoulder with their comrades, ready to lay down their lives for kin and country. We see the officers proudly surveying the troops they will lead gallantly into battle. It is a picture of unity, one that draws forth a notion of wonder from onlookers. We are drawn to this picture of valor, this picture of glory. But everything changes with one simple detail thrown into the mix. Suddenly, this is no longer a positive image, but one that can elicit unease or even disgust. This photograph, taken by Heinrich Hoffmann in 1934 in Nuremberg, Germany, depicts the German army under the banner of the National Socialist Party. In this pre-war Germany, Nazism was viewed as a promising future for a country who was incapacitated by the Treaty of Versailles after the First World War. Moreover, to join the newly built and rapidly growing Nazi forces was considered a noble choice by many. Indeed, the citizens of Germany viewed the soldiers as heroes, just as we view ours. But studying this image, we cannot help but disagree. The Nazis would go on to commit horrible atrocities during the impending war under the direction of their promising and charismatic leader, Adolf Hitler. Looking back on this image with the knowledge of history that we have, disgust or even anger may cause us to shake our heads. No, this is not the same. These men are nothing like our soldiers. Yet think. Aren't these men prepared to fight for kin and country? Aren't they willing to lay down their lives for what they believe is right? This man, is he fighting to keep his family free? Are these men comrades who are in it together for the glory and honor? We cannot know for sure, but the first instinct is to not even think of such things. The Nazis were evil, weren't they? Perhaps. Later on, men like these would threaten the freedom of Europe and aid in the genocide of millions but one must use caution in looking back on history. These soldiers were not malicious demons. They were men. They were optimistic about their future and eager to prove themselves in battle. On the eve of war, they had no idea what the years would come to bring. Putting negative emotions and historical hindsight aside, can we truly say that our soldiers and these soldiers are nothing alike?